Imagine giving a kid hundreds plus cards of animal, but this time you don't tell them what animal is on each card. Can the kids still figure it out? That's supervised learning. And yes, it's smarter than you think. In real life, most of the data doesn't come with labels. No one's telling your system, hey, this is a dog. So we need a model that can find patterns without answers. Now the child starts sorting the splash card by shape, color or number of legs. Whatever makes sense. They are trying to group similar things together all on their own. That's the power of unsupervised learning. Finding hidden patterns. The kid makes three piles of card. All four leg -like animals in one, birds in another, and fish in third. No one told them to. They just noticed patterns. That's came in clustering. Grouping data into clusters based on similarity. Now imagine each card has 50 details color, height, weight, diet, etc. Too much information, right? So the kid focuses on just two to three main things that matters the most. That's PCA. Reducing information overload by keeping only the core features. Now the kid finds one card with six legs and glowing eyes, totally different from the rest. They think, hmm, something odd here. That's anomaly detection, spotting what doesn't belong. No labels, no teaching, just a kid figuring things out from scratch. That's unsupervised magic.